Hey guys, I got some other videos I'm going to make, but I wanted to do this one separate. Just to, um, this was, I had this up a long time ago. I've had it up a couple times with numbers, you guys. There's always a positive and negative meaning. I've said that over and over, but I just wanted to um, say that again. Also, a little bit of uh, life saving information. See, there's angelics out there, and they have transportation, and they can communicate and send signals, and some people don't understand this. Now, if God comes to take you, you would be changed in spirit, and you wouldn't have to be asked, but these angels, see, it's going to be on your free will. You're going to have to get in that thing, or you're going to have to willingly say, yep, I'll do something. See, if God comes, he's just going to take you in spirit. And I'm, I keep, you know, everyone can believe how they want to believe, but there is no early rapture. We all gather back at the same time. If you're the saints and you're getting flown away, or God's coming and taking you, then who is the one that's testifying? and why Antichrist is on earth. People keep worrying about their flesh and that they're going to die when death is Satan. And when it says you'll be delivered up and killed, that means your word. Satan is a scripture lawyer. He knows scripture to the T. He tempted Christ with scripture. So if you're flown off and you're a saint, does that sound like God? He's going to come in and he's going to take his best children out and he's going to leave the rest of them to be tortured um, like with your pitchfork um, idea of Satan. Satan comes in peace and this is told over and over and over. Okay, 11 is also strange doctrine and Jezebel and all that good stuff in the church. God said, I'm against those that teach my children to fly to save their souls. My outreach saving arms are there and you sewed your own little pillows and kerchiefs over every joint of my arm and outreach knuckles of my hands every which way. So if you're going to teach a flyaway doctrine, then you should be telling people that they are, if that was going to happen, what I told you, that it will be in spirit. Because if you got to willingly do something like that, God said he's not coming back while you're in the flesh. He said we got to back in spirit, and Paul clearly told us that. And I've been over that on my other channel, and you can check that out if you want. This is what I've been trying to tell you guys, and everyone can... Believe how you want. All I have to do is warn and 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 read God's word because it's not me making something up. And then my conscience is done because I'm not leaving things set on me. God said, "I will shake the heavens and the earth once more. The scattered sheep fooled and deceived. People perish because of sins in the end times, and this is why Satan why Satan's on earth." But there's this happening now where it's a fall away. People are going towards Satan because he's out there communicating. Just They fall under curses. And stages. By who? See, this system that's coming is a political system. It's the economy. It's the harlot. The kings. This is from 2010. This was from October 2012. See, the angelic's been out there. The towers, guys. Now you see why some people are be deceived. You see why I've been trying to tell you about your foods and the roads to the dead. But some people won't understand because their mind is very, very close-minded. And see at the end also, because Satan's going to fly some people off. Watch. They'll be in outer space and they'll be on a planet. 
And he'll broadcast back and he'll say, look, you guys aren't believing in me. These people are already there. And they'll be like, we're here, we're waiting on you. Watch. And then he'll take some people and he'll go around the earth. And he'll say, well, I, we have to go back. We have to get everyone right. So they'll go over the earth gathering people. Watch. Gathering people. All together. Because Satan's going to appear two and a half months from now. Two and a half months from now. That's my prophecy. My prophecy? Nope. I'm not even saying my prophecy because that's what the Bible says. And then at the end, because we got earthquakes and all that stuff, I didn't check the eclipses out. It mocks what's coming up. But when Christ comes back this year, that's when the great shaking is. He said he said he shook the earth once and he will again. And the last one was the catapult at the overthrow. See, and then people run for the caves and the rocks are falling because they were sitting here trying to get people to worship Antichrist. God said next time we see him, we gather back in spirit. See, Satan's been playing his little instrument out there, his tune, and he's deceiving many. See, God actually told us not even to communicate with the angels. He told us to talk to him directly. Even when you talk to God, um, see, Christ came in all three of them offices, you guys. And what God says is when you talk to him, and then you, like, when you ask for forgiveness of your sins, you, it's in Jesus' name. That's your credentials that you know Christ came and died on that cross. But see, we're praying to God. I never pray to Jesus. I pray to God. See, Satan's coming transformed, just like his ministers, out of the east. Six or seven trumps, you guys. Never said there's a, a little snatch out in the middle. Never said that. The false light is Satan. That transformed is disguised. And Satan is a cherubim that covereth, not, a ch not an angel of light are you ready do you have the true jesus christ the true light the true christ see because satan wanted the mercy seat and he mocked so if anyone comes and tries to take you in flesh guess what they're a liar See, Satan gets released. That's why it ain't broke. Bloodies the grapes. Makes knowledge cry. The manipulation. And it's coming. In two and a half months. His angelics will be laying the groundwork these next two months here. That's what the Bible says. <laughs>